Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is another video tutorial on JavaFX bar chart. In this tutorial session, we are going to create a horizontal bar chart. If you guys have seen my previous video on bar chart in which I have explained how to create a bar chart, a vertical bar chart. Now in this session, we will see how to convert that vertical bar chart into a horizontal bar chart. As you can see on my screen, this is the example of a horizontal bar chart in which you can see your bar will appear on the y axis on the x axis you will see the numbers which will display the data range so guys uh, we will see how to create this horizontal bar chart so let me take you here in this notepad so first task you have to do you have to watch my first tutorial to create a vertical bar chart you can see this link the same link given in the description box so guys please visit that link watch that video and come back here and continue with the step 2 and I will give you the all the instructions how you can proceed now I will take you inside the NetBeans IDE this is the NetBeans IDE 8.0 and this is the same project that I have explained in my first tutorial on the JavaFX bar chart as you can see this is the FXML based project we have the FXML controller and one class file which has a start method now I will show you the FXML in the FXML we have this bar chart object which has the category axis and the number axis y axis is a number axis and the x axis is the category axis but we are going to create the horizontal bar chart so we have to swap these two axes i will show you how you can do it this process is very simple so guys you can see this is the fxml and we have the controller file so this is the same controller file that we have used in previous tutorial now I will show you how you can swap these two axes because we have to display the bar on the y axis and we have to display numbers on the x axis. Process is very simple. Open your fxml. Okay guys you can see we have the tag x axis and we have the tag y axis. We have to simply swap the class name. Okay, so on the x-axis we have the countries and on the y-axis we have the units, the number axis. So I will do like this, I will cut the number axis from y-axis and I have just pasted at the x-axis and now category axis pasted from line number 14 to line number 17. And now I'm going to simply change the label because X axis become the units and the Y axis become the countries. So change is done and saved. Now I will show you the impact of these changes in the FXML. Once you open the FXML you will see the results. Now on the Y axis you have the countries as a category axis and the X axis become the number axis. Okay if you see the bar chart now I will take you here in the controller file. The same code I am going to use. This is the FX ID of the bar chart. So first I am going to delete the unnecessary information. So we will start with a very simple step. I will create one series and I will add this series inside the bar chart. As you can see we have one series object created at line number 30. After that we have given a name at line number 32. Then we have a created some data and we are adding at line number 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37. You can see we are passing two values inside the data object because we have to display some information on the x axis and the y axis. So now the x axis has a number axis and y axis is a category axis. So I am swiping these two information. You can understand easily like on the x-axis you have to display numbers so you have to pass the number value as a first argument and the string value as a second argument so I have done this, these minor changes now series is ready with the data now the first and the last 
action point is we have to add this series inside the bar chart you can see at line number 44 we are adding this series in this bar chart with the help of add all method now it's time to save and take a clean build of this project first we will run and observe that we are on the right track or not okay guys build is successful now it's time to run this example here we go okay guys stages appeared now you can see it is looking awesome and we have the one bar for year 2003 which is displaying the sales figure and the x-axis representing the number and the y-axis representing the countries Austria Brazil France Italy and USA you can see for the x-axis we have passed the number values for the y-axis we have given the string values which is appearing on the y-axis I hope this is clear this is very simple thing if you have created series one you can add more series so I want to add two more series for year 2004 and 2005 so these two series will reflect the sales figure for the year 2003 and 2005 2004 and 2005 so this way I have added the code I'm not going to change the data that we are passing in the XY chart dot data class so simply we have to create the new series object series 2 and the series 3 and uh, here we have to rename it this way because we are going to add the data inside the second series object okay okay this is clear now we are here to create the third series object this way series 3 object is ready and uh, name is fine simply we have to change the object series 3 now series 3 data is ready as you can see we I have not make any changes here inside the data for the x and y axis all three series have wing the same data for five countries once the series object is ready simply we have to add these series objects inside the bar chart so this is the bar chart object dot get data dot add all and give the series objects here series one two three that's it okay guys we have done complete thing and now it's time to take a clean build and we will do a test run on it here we go for the clean build okay build is successful now I'm going to run it okay guys we got the stage you can see your horizontal bar chart is ready now you can see for each country we have three series which are representing the data or the sales figure for the year 2003 2004 and 2005 now you can compare the data and the graph side by side this is for 2003 we have set the same data and for 2004 we are using the same data and for 2005 we are using the same data as well so all series are appearing in the same way and in the bottom we have the legends and the top we have the title so guys this is the way you can create your horizontal bar chart from the vertical bar chart I hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching